Well, we all know if you're out of work, your bills are really stacking up and you're not alone. Right now, hundreds of people across the Tampa Bay area are desperately needing help to keep their utilities from being shut off. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck tonight is getting answers into what you need to do if you're at risk of losing your electricity and the resources now available to everyone. The phones haven't stopped ringing at the Pinellas County Urban League. Many people needing help and not knowing where to turn. That's what we're here for. They're about to be evicted. They have no jobs. All those things are happening now. Local nonprofits like the Urban League and the Pinellas Opportunity Council tell us they've never had so many applications from people needing help. Free COVID, our average calls through our offices were about 150 calls a week. And now we're averaging about 400 calls a week. Back in March, many local power companies halted utility shutoffs. But a few weeks ago, the moratorium ended, leaving a lot of people at risk of losing their electricity and nonprofits strapped as they try to help as many as possible. We still won't be able to help everyone. It's, there's just too many people in need. We checked in with all of our local power companies, including Tico and Duke Energy, and they say they're willing to work with people to set up payment plans to avoid a utility shutoff. Just call us. That's all we're asking them to do. We don't want them to be intimidated and feel overwhelmed by whatever situation they're in. You can also apply for local assistance through the county you live in or by calling 211. We want people to know that we are here to help them. Tuesday, the Florida Public Utilities Commission is also expected to discuss this petition started by Earth Justice. It seeks to stop electricity shutoffs statewide. In Pinellas County, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.